Hi, Fofamid here, and today we're going to be talking about this VR headset. This is the Vipro I. It's a very old VR headset, but people are still buying it, and today we're going to be talking about why. So today we're going to be talking about the Vipro I, and I think one a really great video to check out after this would actually be my video on the state of VR tracking, which is a video that talks about VR headsets that have facial tracking support. And one of the VR headsets is one of the ones that we're going to be talking about today. To start this off, should you buy a Vive Pro I? The answer is no, do not buy one. It is an old headset. It's out of date. You don't want one. If you already have a VR setup, you can get one for 800 or you can buy a full kit for about $1,300 US. I will link them down below. I still don't recommend getting one. Now, the question is, why are people buying this headset? The reason is, is because VR Chat, one of the most popular VR social games, has recently implemented a feature, OSC, which allows you to have full facial tracking, either using an iPhone, a webcam, or a VR headset. This might not be a new feature to people who've been playing uh, a similar platform uh, known as Neos VR. But the key difference between Neos VR and VR Chat is that VR Chat just has a much wider install base of either developers, people who make things for the community, as well as just the user base. And as I've talked about in the state of VR facial tracking video, there's basically almost no headsets that are completely compatible with VR facial tracking. People who want to have facial tracking in VR so they can have a more authentic social experience with other people won't really be able to take advantage of using an iPhone or a webcam for facial tracking because basically by doing that, they lose out on the ability to be in VR. And the only way you could really do that is by being in desktop mode. So what does that leave you with? Well, that basically leaves you with two options. You can either get use your current VR headset and buy the Vive Facial Tracker, which is about 150 US dollars. You can jerry-rig attach it to your current headset and you can get lower face facial tracking basically from the nose down. Or if you happen to be one of the people who have a Vipro Eye or are crazy and waste your money and throw it away on a Vipro Eye like this one did, <laughs> then um, you can get full facial tracking. What do you really get in terms of facial tracking for the Vipro Eye. So the Vipro Eye actually has Toby Eye Tracking built in, which is a well-known standard. Pretty great. Now, the only thing that you actually get from it though, before anyone writes in the comments, I've looked at the documentation. I know how it works. This is how it is. So the Vipro Eye, eye tracking only supports the eye look. So it can detect where your eyes are looking up, down, left, right. And it can also detect your eye blink. That's it. That's all you get out of it. Now, is that worth getting the headset over to combine that with your mouth tracking? And I'm going to say if you already have a Vive Pro I, it is 100% worth making the jump and getting your model full facial tracked ready. If you don't already have a VR headset or you already have another VR headset, it's 100% all worth it. The automatic eye animation in VR chat, I think it's good enough. Basically what VR chat does, if you don't have eye tracking, is that it'll just automatically lock your eyes to the nearest player so that when you're, if you're having a conversation with someone, the eyes kind of move in a more natural way to simulate someone's natural eye movement. The, the main downside to that though, is that if you ever wanted to have like any special animations, those are going to be toggles that you're going to have to do with your hands or emotes or animations. And it won't be as natural or fluid because basically like imagine every time you want to wink, you have to like go like this with your hands, right? You have to go like this. So you can be talking to someone and be like, remember the secret? And they're like, why are you, why are you putting your thumbs up? <laughs> but that's not really anything new because that's what people in VR chat have been doing since before OSC has been implemented. So one other thing that I think would be really important to, th to know as well is since VR chat has implemented facial tracking, people have been buying this headset. One very important thing to know is that not every model will be compatible with VR facial tracking. Basically, if you want your model to have 
facial tracking in VR, you're going to have to set up your model either in Blender or kind of Frankenstein it in Unity, maybe not the best option, to get some kind of facial tracking support. And right now the tutorials on those are very sparse. If you would like to see a tutorial on that, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, I'm going to be having an updated iPhone facial tracking tutorial coming out with uh, as a collab with Ashinera, a, a friend of mine and fellow VTuber. So please like and subscribe and stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for checking out this video and also a special thanks to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. Without your support, I would not be able to make videos like this. So thank you so much and I'll see you later. Bye bye.